Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and we are going to be checking out this brand new TCL 6 Series TV. This is the 55 inch model in honor of Cut the Cord Day. So today is National Cut the Cord Day, and trust me, there is absolutely no better feeling than cutting the cord from your cable company. It saves you a lot of money, saves you a lot of hassle. I can't stand dealing with cable companies. I'm actually having problems with mine with the internet right now in general. Uh, but anyways, cutting the cord is a great feeling and saves you, I believe, on average about $103 a month. And in honor of Cut the Cord Day, TCL is giving away 103 TVs. Yes, 103 TVs. So you have a chance to win one of the Series 4 55-inch models. This is the Series 6 model, but uh, they're giving away 103 Series 4 models. So I will link to that down below. So big shout out to TCL for giving away so many televisions. So if you're unfamiliar with TCL, they're actually America's fastest growing television brand and they offer four separate primary series in the US, each having their own set of performance, design, and also their different features as well. Like I said, this is the six series TV. Now all of these series of TVs are perfect for cutting the cord considering they have Roku TV built in. So a great interface I'll show off in just a second. Also a very nifty remote to uh, navigate through the interface. And then of course this six series is a 55 inch 4K TV with HDR contrast control zones. I'll talk about all that in just a second, but let's go ahead and get started. Hey. Setting up this TCL TV was very simple. All you had to do was put on the, the bottom legs and you were good to go. Uh, overall design is a really good looking TV, very minimal bezels. The trim is very good looking. It looks really good when actually uh, reflecting off some of the light. So a nice, a nice looking television. The remote is also very simple yet has a lot of features. So as the buttons go, power up at the top, back and home to get to that home interface. And then of course your arrows and an okay button. You have voice control, I'll show that off in just a second. Play, pause, skipping, and then you have four separate buttons to actually jump into your streaming apps, Netflix, Hulu, Sling, and Direct TV Now. Now, one of my favorite things is them putting the volume buttons on the side, very similar to your cell phone, uh, actually. So you have volume up and down on the right side, and then you also have a mute button down below that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the user interface. It's very user friendly. Up at the left corner, you'll see TCL Roku TV. So right away, you can customize the order of these tiles, all of your streaming apps. You'll see I have the Xbox is the first one. You also can uh, hook up your antenna. Similar to this Mohu HD TV antenna, I will be connecting to get a bunch of different local channels over the air. Uh, Netflix up there. So if I go ahead and press Netflix, it will just go ahead and load up that app very quick, very snappy. I can go ahead and press home. Now, if I go back to it, uh, you see you have your YouTube app, your Amazon Prime Video, just a bunch of different streaming apps that you can go ahead and sign into, making it really easy to cut that cord. Something a lot of people ask about these TVs is how long does it take to turn on? And to be honest, it's very quick. So three, two, one, press, and it should go ahead and boot up really quickly. Now, if I wanna jump into Netflix very fast, there we go, it should connect to the internet. And we are in Netflix simply like that. And of course, you'll see with that shortcut on the remote, it made it even more simple. Uh, I can go to my categories, do a search, or I can go into the whole dashboard of Netflix. Now let's go ahead and do a little multitasking. Let's go, jump back home, maybe go into Amazon Prime Video, load that up, see how long that takes. You'll see contacting Amazon, I've already signed in. It should load up all of those Amazon titles. Of course, this will be dependent on your specific internet speeds, how things will load. Uh, but the apps do run very fast and the remote is extremely responsive and snappy. That's one thing I've noticed with other TVs is that the remote can be uh, just a little delayed after you press a button, but this one is actually very snappy, uh, very responsive to your touch. Other than your home tiles, you have your entire feed. You have a movie store by Fandango and TV store as well. You can also go ahead and look through news, whether it's politics, sports, lifestyle, technology, top stories, all that good stuff. And you have a search for a movie, TV actor, a specific show you're looking for. And then you have streaming channels. So you can go to the channel store and here is just all of the different channels that you can load up, which again, makes it so easy to cut the cord. You can choose the specific channels that you want and download them as opposed to having to buy a complete package through some sort of cable company. 
A nice personalization touch is the addition of themes. So you can go through, change some specific themes, Roku, Graphene, Decaf, Nebula. You can get more as well if you'd like to. Um, also that screensaver, as I mentioned, you can change City Stroll, Roku Digital Clock, Mobile Screensaver, Photo Collage, or Power Saver. So let's say, for example, we're watching YouTube. You see you have the YouTube app in the background, but you want to switch over and play a little Xbox. All you really have to do to change inputs is press and hold this microphone on the remote, switch to the Xbox. And then I go ahead and let go. It says it's thinking, and then it should switch over to the input for the Xbox One that I have. And there you go. You'll see Xbox looking for signal. I did just power on my Xbox. And there you go. So you could go ahead and play some Fortnite, Rocket League, FIFA, Battlefield, all of your great Xbox games in 4K, of course, because this is a 4K television. So this 6 Series has 96 zones of contrast control, and you do have a lot of options to change the color picture, the, the picture and coloring to your liking. You'll see here they have different picture modes, vivid, low power, movie, normal, sports. Uh, you go to picture size, audio effect. Uh, a sleep timer, advanced picture settings is where you want to jump into if you really want to customize it to your liking. Uh, just running through real quick to see through all of these different options. Uh, there is a game mode, which helps with the Xbox, which I did turn on for the Xbox, uh, which is always great, of course. Uh, you would love to have a game mode when playing Xbox, otherwise it's a, a little delayed. Now these picture settings can be changed on a per input basis. So if you have an Xbox antenna, if I plug in my Chromecast, anything specific, that you're going to plug in. Also, the Dolby Vision notification you can turn on and off, so it does have the Dolby Vision HDR. Now with voice control, you can do a lot more than just change inputs. You can search for specific movies, TV shows. Wolf of Wall Street. And then I let go, and you'll see really quickly, loads up Wolf of Wall Street. You can press on it, find a way to actually watch that specific movie. Gives you information about it in the bottom right-hand corner. Open YouTube. And you'll see just how quick and responsive everything is. I just said open YouTube and the YouTube app go, went ahead and loaded up. I didn't even need to press the home button and go to the YouTube icon. Now here is just a 4K video on YouTube that you can show off 3840 by 2160 pixels. And it is stunning. It is a genuinely good panel. And I've been very impressed with all the colors, all the different customizations you can make, but even out of the box, I was actually very surprised and very happy at the quality of this panel. Now overall, for the price, it is a very inexpensive TV for what you get. Now TCL is doing a lot of good things in the TV space and I think adding a lot of great competition. The fact that it has Roku built into the TV, a very easy to use interface, a lot of streaming apps that you have available. This is a really great option if you're really looking to cut the cord, especially on national cut the cord day and of course be sure to go enter in that giveaway tcl is running you might win one for yourself uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to click that thumbs up and as always guys thank you very much for watching